What is up guys, Nolan here for Pleasant Plain Paintball and I have a pretty good video for you today. We are gonna be learning how to program an Empire Mini GS. So you may think it's simple because you gotta turn it on and you know, there's, you know, shoot or shoot without balls. So it's a lot more to that. Um, there's four firing modes, you got uh, semi-auto, you got the burst, the ramp, and your full auto. So, um, I will be teaching you how to use these, and because uh, I know a lot of people out there have mini GSs. So, I'm not sure if this works for X Pros either, but um, they probably will. It's like the same kind of setup. So, I'm going to show you how to work it, and it can. We can either go up. To, the main things we're going to talk about are firing modes and balls per second because everybody wants to know how many balls can we shoot so the max on this is 20 balls per second um other than that everything else is pretty low so i'm gonna show you guys how to work this thing the camera would stay up okay okay here we go we're gonna get into it so how we're gonna program this is actually we'll just show you how first first is this is a center with balls it won't shoot without the balls and then this is without balls it can shoot without balls that's just the main program modes for any mode you use to get to the programming section hold the trigger hold this down turn it on until you get all these fancy colors and then it turns solid red so you want to let go of that trigger when you pull it on so you're going to turn it on hold the trigger once you see all those colors let go and you'll be fine right now we're on red red is firing modes switch it over green green is the balls per second uh you know you got all these other colors working on the solenoid and uh, uh different kinds of stuff they're kind of useless so i would not want to mess with those because these are on the highest settings they are you only want the solid green and solid uh, red so this we're going to work on the solid red first solid red right now what we're gonna do is there's four firing modes. Click once for semi, two for burst, three for ramp, four for full auto. So we're gonna go to semi first. So we're gonna hold this down until it starts blinking. Oops. Hold it down until it starts blinking. And once it's done blinking, let it click a couple times. And then click it two times for burst but you only have a certain amount of time to do it before it goes away. You have like a three second window, I think it is. So you need to program it pretty fast. Now that we're on semi, you need to turn it off and then turn it back on and you should be on semi. So without center. That's semi. As you can see I'm tapping the trigger and it's semi. So we're gonna turn it back off and that's, sorry, burst. My bad, that is burst. We're gonna go to semi this time. Hold the trigger down, turn it back on, get all the fancy colors, let go. Now we're on solid red, hold it down. There it goes, blinks, one, two, one. So, blinks two times because it was on burst. Blink it once, we do it once now because we're on semi. Turn it off, turn it back on, go back to without the ball sensing mode. Semi. We're gonna turn that off. Now we're gonna go to ramp. So we're gonna hold it down, turn it back on, get all fancy colors, hold it down. It's gonna blink once, cause we're on semi. One, two, three, now we're on ramp. Makes all the fancy colors, wait for the colors to go by. Now you can turn it on, turn it off when it's solid red. We're gonna turn it back on. Give it back to the mode without balls. Ramp. Turn it back off. And now we're gonna go to our last mode, full auto. So we're gonna turn it on, hold it down, move all those colors, hold it back down. Now we're gone. Do three, one, two, three, four. It did three blinks because we were on ramp. Now we did four. So next time you go through, it's gonna go four blinks to let you know you're on full auto. So now we're gonna turn it off, and this is full auto.
a lot. Now, the last thing you guys are going to know, need to know with this, the last thing you would need to know, and the only thing you guys really need to know is set the modes and balls per second. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set it with balls. So you're going to do the same thing, turn it back on. It's going to make all those colors. Now you're going to go to green. So we're on green now, solid green, not blinking. Don't go to any blinking ones. We're on solid green. Now we're going to hold it down, but it's going to blink the amount of times that uh, how many balls we're shooting per second. Uh, so you want to let it blink through, so don't rush it. So we're going to hold it down and let it blink. It's telling me how many balls per second we're using right now, so don't do anything. And once it stops, we're going to hit 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So 25 is to get 20 balls per second. It's going to make all those colors, man. We're going to turn it back off. So 25 is to get to 20 balls per second. And uh, everything else um, is the regular. So if you click at 19, it's... 19 balls per second but you have to go 25 for 20 for some reason so we're going to turn back on go back to our modes full auto at 20 balls per second so that's basically all you guys need to know if you want to go back to the uh, default settings we leave it on 20 balls per second so you can get the max out of your uh, trigger fingers. But uh, if you want to go back to default, you're going to set it back to semi, which is one click. And uh, other than that, use your 20 balls per second. Because if you use 10 on your semi, you're going to wonder why it's so slow. So I would recommend only using 20 balls per second on anything you do. Because even if you go too high, you like it doesn't matter. You, you don't want to go too low. So... That's basically it. Um, I am going to uh, go over to my balls real quick and I'm gonna load up a couple and I'm gonna show you how to shoot them. Now, it's not a lot of balls, but I wanna turn on your hopper here. Turn on your gun here. And we are on full auto at 20 balls per second. So I'm gonna flip this around here. I'm gonna show you how to turn this on. So here you are, 20 balls per second. balls per second and then we can go back to the air now you were wondering why it's probably shooting slower with the balls on there it's because I had it on this setting so I want my balls to sense but um if you switch it to this setting you're gonna get this high speed um not always is the ball gonna come out I'm not sure but if you put it on the one setting it it will make sure that all your balls come out so you'll probably end up shooting more like 18 balls per second or something. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this really helps because it was really hard for me to figure this out. So I had to do it on my own and take about like a couple five hours out of my day to figure this out. So I mean, who doesn't want to do that on the field? That's just fun. Hmm. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, Make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you know, just leave them down below. Like the video, share it. Um, we might run the gauntlet with this thing naked. So if we get to 100 subscribers, we're gonna run the gauntlet naked with three of these going 20 balls per second at full auto. So <laughs> it's pretty cold out here, so it might hurt a little bit. But always, you know, like, subscribe, share. Um, any more questions, you know, send them in at pleasantplainpaintball at gmail.com and we'll get back to them uh, as soon as possible. Thank you.